Okay, Spring Little Face, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, I'm drawing to several different decks for you, so we're just going to kind of just go with it. And it's Oracle time for you, it feels like. So, yeah. Okay, there's that one. I need an affirmation card for you, it feels like. Just one. Then I want one of these. Thank you. One of these angel messages. Thank you. Okay, one of these. For Aquarius, please spare it. May I have the one card for Aquarius? Nope, it's one. Okay, one. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, and one of these, please, Spirit. May I have one of these? Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Feels like there is another card. I'm just trying to find the card. One more. Nope, that's not it. Can I have the one card? There we go. Oh my goodness, milk and honey, look. And on the bottom, Observer came out, so yeah. Oh, I just had a whole deck of cards fall on the floor. So, okay, well we're going to start, first off, is with these. So yeah, we're going to start with those. And, um... We have got unhooking the past. Unhooking the past. There is nothing to regret when I learn from the past. So, you know, unhooking yourself by learning. Learning from the past um, and freeing oneself. That's beautiful. Your affirmation that you've got is relationships. So, if you would, please repeat after me. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good, and so it is. Then we have our angel message here. Oh my goodness. Zero, a new beginning. Wow. And it says... You're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world. If you will just free yourself from that which holds you back, new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. And then we have this one right here. When I cultivate a spirit connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. Wow. This, this is looking good. This is like um, really wanting to, you know, bring in the relationships that are for you, not taking the past with you, leaving it behind, and learning the lessons and starting this new adventure, this new journey, this new beginning that is going to be really you rewriting things. Wow. And not allowing the past to hold you back. This is beautiful. Then we have this one here. And what it says is, I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. On the back, each moment of the day is special to me as I... Follow my higher instincts and listen to my heart. I am at peace with my world and affairs. Wow. Knowing you have it going. Knowing, having faith, trusting that things work out for you all the time. That is beautiful. That's manifesting as well, it feels like. So we got this beautiful card here. Okay. You have a question. 
What do rich folk daydream and visualize about? The answer, yeah, whatever they want. Question, and what do poor folk daydream and visualize about? Answer, yeah, whatever they want. You're coming along so quickly, the universe. So, if you aren't daydreaming about what you truly want, daydream about what you truly want. And don't allow anything to hold you back. Let go of um, the old beliefs that you weren't worthy. Be worthy. You are worthy of having your heart's desires. You've got milk and honey here. That, that says it all. You know, it's a 51 card. Milk and honey. Milk and honey. You know, milk and honey. Things coming along. Um, I, I'm drawn to this elephant, you know, is a feeling of bathing in life and enjoying every moment of it. You know, it's like it's just so enjoyable now. That's that type of feeling. This is beautiful. So, that's what I've got for you. New, new and enjoying. This is beautiful. Bathe in it. Much light and love. Mwah.